Hello everyone, it's Speedio696 here, and I'm going to do another programming video. Uh, today I'm going to teach you the basics of using labels, and how to make sure that you don't screw them up, and everything. So, up here, we're going to put a label. This is our same program, the AAA. If you haven't watched my last video, I'd recommend doing that. If you're just getting into programming, if you just want to watch the labels, it doesn't really matter what this program does. Uh, so I did the second answer to put this line in programming. Now, label is 9. I'll show you it, but... It is 9 if you just hit the 9 shortcut key. Labels. Now, labels can be any two-digit two combination sorry, um, of any letter or number. Now, you can't have, like, a parenthesis or a comma or a colon um, as your label. You have to have, like, Q, P, any letter of the alphabet or any number 1 through 9. And now, so it can be, like, A1, so A1, it could be B7, it could be 89, it could be AB, any combination of those you want. Because a lot of the times in huge programs, you'll have to have multiple ones, and you have to keep them straight, which is kind of tough if you're making a big one. So we're just going to keep with label A for now, at least I am. You can do whatever you want. So this is just showing you how. So we're going to go down here, it's the same program. Now we're going to make a go-to block. This will send it straight back to the old label. Now, go-to, which is zero, if you don't see it. It's right there. Zero. So go to, now A. You do the same label that you want it to go to. We label it A, so it'll be go to A. Now, if we go out of this program, yeah, my bad, I hit second too many times. Quit. There we go. Program AA, run it. Now, AA, hi. Now, if you see, it's instantly going past something. So that means we left something out. So this on button here will break your program. Quit just sends you back to the home screen. No harm, no foul. Nothing happens. Uh, break is has this go to option also number two which sends you straight in the program where you paused it or left it at so what we left out here was a pause and so if we go here and put a pause in this will allow it to display and that use the output before it uses the go to block so the go to block doesn't count as a pause it will go straight there and cut right past it so like aa hi lol 24 like we had before so you can see this going on and off and it's an endless loop now, if you go into this program again, you can make counters, which are one of the like essentials, I guess. You don't use them at first when you use programming, and then as soon as you start using labels, you use them all the time. So outside the label, because it'll run first, we're going to do zero store B. Now, every time it gets here, we're going to go B plus one store B. And if you didn't see all my clicks, they're over here on the side. Um... It, I was just pretty much, I explained the store last episode, and so I just used that twice. So that's just adding one to B every time it goes through that spot. So now, when it goes to this output here, it's going to say LOL. And now I'm adding the B program. Program is display. I always say is instead of IO. So if I say that, sorry. B. So that's like a recap of what we did last time. Now here... A high, hi, hello, 24, 1. Now if we do it again, 24, 2. See, it's a counter, so every time B gets more than 1. Well, one more. So the next video I make, I will make how if-thens, so that B, then you can do something with it. But that was just how to show you how to make labels. So now, if you wanted to go to like a different label, so like go to label C, and we'll have this being label B right here. You'll have label B, which, those are the same commands we used earlier, which is 0 and 9 for label and go to, all the way around. So go to is 0, label is 9, in your program button. So you go there, and label B, let's just have it display Q. I don't know, just making something up. Uh, Q. We'll go here. Here we go. So now, label B will have go to A. Now, that's the end of label B as soon as you add another label. If you add more, it will happen, but as soon as it hits that go to A, it'll go straight up. So I could have, like, display anything I want down here, but it won't actually do anything because it's going to the A too fast. So if we have label C here, label C then, this one will go to C, skip over B, display, displays are the easiest, we'll display C, just to show that we got to label C. And then we'll go back to B, so it should display Q. And then 
that should go back to A. So now it's like a three set loop. Hi, LOL. A hi, LOL. A hi, LOL. Now if you notice, something's wrong. So this is the main part of programming, which is troubleshooting. Now the issue in this is if you go down, it's going to C, going here, displaying this, going here, going here, displaying this, and going all the way back up and clearing home instantly. So that's again, you have to make sure you put your pauses in there all the time. Pause is like the most used, which is program 8 if you don't remember. And so if you put a pause on every single one of those, second insert, pause, or you could put it like at the beginning of A, right before it clears home. So you only have one pause and it does all this and then pauses it. That would work also. So now, unless I forgot one more, it should work. Hi, LOL, C, Q, back to the beginning. So that's the basics of labels. You got to make sure that they're the same label. And so it's like a little channel. As long as they're set to the same frequency, they go to each other. And you can have multiple go to the same label. But make sure you don't only have one label. Like label A can only be in your program once, or it won't know which one to go to, and it'll always just go to the first one and confuse it. So if you're making a program, you might want to write them down, or a way to check with big programs, which this is kind of helpful, is if you go here, so that was the quit, edit, go back. If you, at the very beginning, have like, go to, if you're testing it, like, you have a big program, you want to know if label A exists, go to A. If it brings you to a label, you know that exists. If you put like D, and it says error label, so I'll show you what that looks like. Go to D, error label, right here. So quit, there's no option, because there's no place to go. Once it's there, it's at the end of the program, there's nothing for it to go to. So, if that's a quick way to check for your labels, how you get to labels, and what you can kind of do with labels, including the counters, and I'll show what counters can do with an if-then statement in my next video. So thanks for watching.